Welcome to our store. How may I help you? Uh, hello. I'm looking for vegetables to cook for lunch. Excuse me, why is the price of these vegetables is so expensive? I thought before this, the price of these vegetables was about 30 to 40% less than this price. Did you increase the price of these vegetables? I'm so sorry, miss. I had to increase the price of those vegetables as the expenses used to grow them increased too. You know, it always rains now. I can't produce much crops like I did before. Most of my plants died before I could even harvest them. Plus, I need to feed my family and myself. This is the only business that we can rely to live. Yes, I know you need to take care of your family. But the thing is, I don't think that you have any rights to increase the price of these vegetables at your own will. Also, how can the price of these chilies have gone up from 7 ringgit per kilogram to 10 ringgit per kilogram? Where can I get the money to buy these expensive vegetables? What do you expect from us villagers to have that much money to buy these things? And how can I maintain my healthy lifestyle if the price of these vegetables rises sharply like this? I've already mentioned why I had to increase the prices. Why are you still mad? You can't expect the prices to stay the same forever. We're living in 2021. In a month, we're already in 2022. And if you can't deal with the rising prices, grow your own vegetables. Assalamualaikum and good evening. Welcome to Star News, our main headline tonight. The food security of Malaysia has been alarming the locals right now. Food security exists when all people at all times have physical, social and economic foods which meets their dietary needs and food preference for an active and healthy life. For a state of food security to exist, all of these components must be sufficiently present which are availability of food, access of food, utilization and stability of food. The status of food security in Malaysia is we are highly dependent on the importation of many agricultural products such as wheat, beef, mutton and dairy products. The key challenge for food security in the country is to achieve self-sufficient in most of the food requirements and to reduce dependency on food importation. It has been reported that the price of the vegetables has increased sharply. Now, I will leave it to Amishate to see the situation there. Thank you Aisha. Assalamualaikum and good day everyone. The increase in food prices, especially vegetables, has been the talk of the town recently as the skyrocketing prices are expected to go on for some time. Many are affected by this issue and today, I am going to interview two groups who are experiencing difficult situations with this price increase. So, for the first person, I would like to invite Mrs. Nur Aisha Shafi, subsistence farmer who sells her crops at a market near, the, near her house in Alustar, Kedah, to share with us some information about her current situation. Hello madam, glad to see you in a good condition. Madam, how are you as a farmer now? Is everything fine? Hi, thank you for your concern. As a farmer myself, I am having a hard time growing my vegetables due to current erratic weather in Malaysia. On some days, it rains heavily and it destroys my crops. I had to replant some of them and it took me some time to harvest the plants. And because of that, I am currently having financial difficulties to feed myself and my family. Okay, turning to the issue to be emphasized in this discussion, I want to ask you, sharp rise in food prices, especially vegetables, benefited you and other farmers or only caused losses? Mm, although farmers get some benefits in the process of rising vegetable prices, under the double impact of rising production costs and living costs at the same time, the increased revenue benefit of farmers from the rise in vegetable prices is clearly weakened. Uh, though some farmers believe that their income does not increase because of this reason. Oh, I see. Okay, madam. I think that's all for today. Hope everything will be better for you in the future. Thank you for the sharing, madam. Next, besides the sellers, the ones who feel the effects of the price increase are also necessarily buyers themselves. Based on local media surveys, almost all the buyers interviewed have voiced their reaction which are very impressed 
with the increase in prices of goods, especially food. For more detailed information, I will make a call with one of the affected villages, Mrs. Adibah B. Suhaimi, to hear her feedback on the issue. Hello, Mrs. Adibah. How are you today? Hello, I'm fine, thank you. So now, Mrs. Adibah, can you share some of your opinions about this issue representing low-income residents in this country? Thank you for your concern. As the representative of the villages, I would like to voice out my opinion on the sudden rise in vegetable prices. I know that due to the pandemic of COVID-19 and the resulting lockdown, it has affected the country's economy. The lockdown, or known as Movement Control Order (MCO), has caused a total of 140,608 people to lose their jobs as the country's economy is experiencing a decline. Hence. Job loss causes the reduction of people's income and might cause the people to not be able to survive during this pandemic. Regarding to the situation, we know that the villagers have been shocked by the hot issue of rising vegetable price. And I don't think this is the right way to improve and redevelop the country's economy, not only uh, to us villagers, but also to the whole people who are facing this crisis. If the increasing price of the vegetables are not controlled, it can cause the country to experience extreme inflation. Furthermore, uh, this will also affect not only to the villages, but the whole people will experience poverty. And with this little income, this causes people, especially like us villages, to not be able to buy vegetables that are priced out of our budget. So this indicates that by increasing the price of vegetables does not ensure the food security. Thank you for your sharing. Until we meet again, Madam, Salam Alaikum. That is the part of the expression and view of the people who are having difficulty due to this matter. We went back to the newsroom with Aisha Shamimi. Undoubtedly, the increase in vegetable prices has a negative impact on farmers who sell their agricultural products as well as the buyers themselves. Therefore, in order to avoid a skewed impression on any party, we will interview the Minister of the Ministry of Domestic Trade and Consumer Affairs, Mrs. Karina Natalingi, to seek clarification on this issue. Hello, Assalamualaikum Madam. Hope you are in a good condition. A while ago, I just interviewed a farmer and a villager to get feedback on a hot issue right now. And I'm sure you know more about this issue which is the sharp rise in food prices, especially vegetables, lately. Okay, madam, for the first question, I would like to ask you the reasons why the price of vegetables in the market is now rising. Waalaikum salam. Thank you for your attention, Shaki. To start off, uh, one of the major reasons for the abrupt abrupt spike in the price of raw materials uh, raw materials such as vegetables and fruits is the collapse in fertilizer and pesticide manufacturing costs during the COVID-19 and the uh, production imports these necessities at a very high price due to the huge demand within a very slow production process and that is uh, one thing uh, but another big reason why costs have risen so dramatically is due to a short uh, to a shortage of manpower the unexpected decline in farmers uh, revenue makes it difficult for them to pay for workers while still spending on agriculture costs and they actually need to think about uh, all possible costs such as watering systems and workers wage and they must deal with the difficulties of uh, budgeting for the current issue about the fertilizer that I have already mentioned before um, and based on our current data the farmers experience increase in agriculture input costs approximately around 21% and 17% respectively for veggies and fruits. Um, therefore, the main cause uh, I want to highlight here is actually the unstable spending for uh, agriculture input itself. Okay, thank you, Madam. Next, can you tell us what are the actions taken by KB at KPDN HDP to overcome this issue? Alright, so regarding, regarding the issues, we already discussed this matter with Smurfy, 
the Ministry of Agriculture and Food Industry and came up with a solution in which we will uh, form new several committees uh, after consulting with the affected uh, parties such as farmers. Um, meanwhile, uh, MOF, Ministry of Finance, is aware of the uh, farmers' financial difficulties and uh, will make an announcement regarding this uh, subsidy soon. Okay, thanks Madam. Last question Madam. Is the Ministry aware of those who are taking advantage of this price increase? Yes, uh, we are totally uh, aware of this issue. Uh, with the beginning of Oaks Pasa, which is Sayur Dua, two weeks ago, our site has also begun analysing claims of increases uh, vegetable price. And during the operation, enforcement officials checked uh, on vegetable price at several points in vegetable distribution network, uh, including the suppliers, uh, wholesalers and retailers. During the and during this uh, difficult moment, it will um, take some time for us to block some of the reckless sellers, and this is one of the steps to shrink the risk of inflation in Malaysia. And uh, on the other on the other hand, I hope that consumers will act responsibly when purchasing goods by using the price catcher application, which will. Uh, launch last year com uh, to compare the price before making a purchase as an alternative. Okay, I got all your points, Madam. Thank you, thank you for being here with us tonight. Hopefully, this explanation can answer the questions that hover in the minds of the public. Thank you. All right, thank you. On other discussion, she further stated that an individual convicted of an offence can be fined up to. 500,000 ringgit Malaysia for a corporation or company and up to 100,000 ringgit Malaysia for an individual or imprisoned for up to three years or both. Furthermore, society must have patience as the government attempts to reach the solution. So today, that's all from me. Thank you. That's all for today. Thank you for watching and thank you. Have a good day.